Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have the do's and don'ts of ombre nails. And you guys, I seriously love ombre nails. I feel like there's so many different color combinations that like you get a different look every time you do them. And honestly, they're just fun to do. So I'm going to be giving you guys the tips and tricks that I use to get that flawless ombre nail and uh, yeah let's just get right into the video so first you're gonna need some makeup sponges you can get these from pretty much anywhere they have them at target walgreens cvs walmart like a lot of places have them and i know some people like to use that little eyeshadow applicator to do their ombre nails and i just feel like that makes it harder but you know if it works for you go ahead so next it is time to pick your base color and you guys you have to use a base color if you try to ombre over just a naked nail it's going to look bad. So for the first example, I'm going to start out with a white base. And this is what I use for probably most of my ombre nails. It just really makes your colors show up more and just really pop. And you want to make sure that base is completely dry because you don't want the sponge to pull up any of that base when you go to sponge on your nail. Next, it is time to pick your barrier. And you guys, please use some kind of barrier because I promise you it will make your life so much easier. So here you have a few options. The first one is this Manny Tape that I'm showing you guys right here. This is my favorite option because you don't have to wait for it to dry. And it also just fits perfectly around your nail. Another option is liquid latex. And I'll have a few linked down below that I like. And then if you don't have anything else, you can also use Elmer's glue or scotch tape. Those are, I mean, it's better than nothing, but I would go with the first two options if you can. So once you have your barrier, you are almost ready to start, but first you need to grab some tape and clean off your sponge. You want to make sure that you don't have a tiny little piece of hair or string on your sponge because that's just going to go right into your nails. So I'm just taking the tape and putting it on my sponge and then ripping it back off. So next it is time to pick your colors and you have to at least pick two, um, but you could use three or four or five. Obviously don't use like 10 because that's just going to be a mess, but pick your colors. I'm going to be using gray and pink because I just like those colors. If you are a beginner, try to use colors that are right next to each other in the rainbow. So for example, pink and purple or green and blue, or try to pick two colors that when mixed make another color. So pink and blue make purple. And basically what this is going to do is make your blending process a whole lot easier because they're already going to kind of naturally blend together, if that makes sense. Next, you're going to apply your colors onto your sponge and you want to make sure they're not too thin, like right here, unless your nails are extremely small, then this is fine, but you want it to be about the length of your nails. So if I tried to use this, that would just be a hot mess. And you also want to make sure your sponge is not too wet. You want to be able to see those little tiny holes in the sponge and if it is too wet just wait a little bit and it'll slowly dry up so now i'm just applying my colors on the sponge in the right way and i'm just filling up the whole sponge because one my nails are long and two i mean you have a barrier so it doesn't really matter if it's too big for your nails so next i'm just going to take that sponge and just dab it onto my nail I'm just bouncing it up and down just to get those colors onto the nail and as you can see after that first layer there's like nothing on my nail which is perfectly fine you don't want to rush to get the color on your nail you just want to slowly build up that color because that's really going to make your ombre just like fade perfectly so after that i'm just going to refill my sponge and repeat this process over and over again and if i had to pick the most important thing about doing ombre nails it's to make sure your nail dries in between each layer this is like the key to a good ombre i wait probably like three minutes i want to say for each layer to dry which honestly isn't long at all if you think about it because if you're doing all 10 of your nails by the time you get back to that first one and refill your sponge again it's already dry but if you're only doing one nail for like an accent nail just make sure you're taking your time because you don't want to sponge over a layer that's not completely dry and when i'm starting with a white base i probably refill my sponge and repeat this process like four times on average I want to say it honestly just depends what type of nail polish you're using how opaque it is and also I would try to avoid really sheer nail polish because it will make this whole process longer so right now I'm actually cutting off the front part of my sponge and I'm doing this because sometimes my sponge starts to get a little hard while I'm doing my ombre so this just gives me a fresh start and I feel like it just makes my ombres look better overall and I would also recommend doing this when you're completely done with your nails just so you're not wasting sponges that is it for this type of ombre nail after that you're just going to remove your barrier and then just do any cleanup that you need to and honestly there shouldn't be that much so i'm just using a brush dipped in acetone i would not use a cotton swab for this only because you don't want to risk getting cotton pieces stuck onto your nail after you just did all that work and then after that just add your top coat and for some reason i didn't film myself doing that for this example my bad so here's just a quick example of what not to do as you can see i didn't use a barrier so that's going to be annoying to clean off later and then i'm also not 
waiting for each layer to dry so the color just isn't building up and every time I sponge it on it's just taking off more color and leaving white gaps so this is what you don't want to do. Moving on to the next type of ombre nails. This is probably the easiest way that I think to do ombre nails. So instead of starting with that white base, I'm going to start with the lightest color that I'm using in that ombre. And I feel like I normally do this when I'm using black or a really dark color. Here I'm going to be using maroon and black. And you're pretty much going to follow the same exact steps. You want to make sure you start with a dry base, pick your barrier, clean off your sponge. The only difference I would say is when you're wiping the colors on the sponge. Because you already have that first color on your nail, it's okay if the black line is a little bit thinner because you're only focusing on the tip of your nail, if that makes sense. And also because you don't have to build the color up as much, this way is definitely the fastest. Another thing you don't want to do is over sponge your nail. And what I mean by that is basically you're sponging your nail and even though it's dry and there's no more nail polish coming off of it, you're still trying to dab that sponge. And you don't want to do that because basically little pieces of the sponge will slowly start coming off and it will get on your nail and that, oh, you like can't get it off without messing up your design. So just be careful with that. As soon as you feel like it's starting to get a little dry, just go ahead and refill it and then repeat. So here's another quick don't example. The sponge is way too wet and I'm just sponging it right on the nail and it's just, it's globbing up. It's not looking good at all. And this is just not what you want to do, so make sure you're really letting that nail polish dry into the sponge. So lastly, I have one more ombre example, and this time I'm going to be using a third color, and basically I'm using this third color as a transition. So I'm starting out with a mustard base, and instead of just using a maroon and yellow polish on the sponge, I'm also going to add an orange polish. So basically by adding a color that leads to your next color, you're just making your ombre a whole lot easier to do because it's just going to blend easier. Um, you can pretty much do this with any color. Like let's say you're doing a blue ombre, you could start with white and then do a light blue and then do a slightly darker blue and then a really dark blue and it just helps everything just blend out perfectly. And yeah, I think that's it. As always, if I left anything out or if you have more tips, definitely leave them down below in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be back next Wednesday with another do's and don'ts. So yeah, okay, bye.